So this question I think killed most students when it was um, first came along in uh, 2013. Um, but looking back, it's actually quite a nice question. Uh, it's one of these questions you read it and you think, oh my word, I've got no idea what it's all about. It's complete, absolutely ridiculous thing. And it's a quality of written communication. So you're thinking about all those things. You think about two paragraphs. Okay, I can do that. One paragraph on station here on Earth. One paragraph on accelerating in deep space. As with all of these ones about no motion, they're a bit confusing in unit one. Well, actually, it's not that confusing. It's actually a Newton's Laws question. So I'm just going to go through um, some of the things you might write in two paragraphs with full sentences, obviously, because it's got the little asterisk there. So um, this guy is stationary here on Earth. Let's have a think about his forces. Well, we know he's on Earth, so he's got mg downwards. He's got his weight downwards. OK, well, actually, he's not accelerating. He's, he's, he's not moving. He is actually accelerating round in a circle, but it's unit one, so you're not you're not dealing with um, circular motion, so you don't, don't need to worry about that. There's actually a Newton one pair with which is balance balancing his weight, which is the normal reaction from the floor. So in fact, to explain this and to get three marks on your first paragraph for stationary here on Earth, what you're actually talking about is Newton one. Just write out Newton one. The, um, which is that the sum of the forces are equal to zero, so the acceleration is zero. And that is Newton 1. You've got three marks if you said these things in nice sentences. Then accelerating in deep space, well, okay. Um, this is the situation is accelerating, which is the one of the three Newton's laws that deals with acceleration. That's Newton 2. So here, there is a resultant force um, acting upon him, and he's accelerating in this direction, so it's going to be in the same direction as that. He's in space, so there is no, um, I'm just going to call it F, there is no weight or anything like that to consider, so we've dealt with all of those um, forces there. Now, his feeling, his understanding is going to be the same as the guy in the box who's stationary here on Earth because they're both of their experiences are the same size of force because the acceleration, of course, is equal to G. Uh, the same size of force is, is R and F. So your last point, if you like, the book, the bit that's, um, that's tying this all together is the idea that the normal reaction force of this guy stationary on Earth is equal to the force which is accelerating this guy through space. And they've got no idea of any difference because they've got no windows out. The only the only sensation they've got in Einstein's fourth experiment is this force from the bottom of the box, if you like. Uh, I don't really think that's very complicated when you look at it that way. When you get stuck like that in the first, um, in the unit one exam, well, really just think this is a Newton law question. If it's asking you all about force and things like that, just think, where can I apply any of Newton's three laws? There's not a Newton third law pair in this one, though, so be careful, because remember, Newton three needs to be the same type of force in the same line, in the same size, opposite direction, and the same magnitude. All right, I hope that one helps.